Hi friends, it's Amanda here with you today for the Cut Shop Design Team sharing our layout with the piece of my heart digital cut file. I love this simple and effective cut file because it really puts the emphasis back on photos. So no intricate tiny cuts or designs, just nice big clear bold boxes, good clean cuts, it cuts fast um, if you're time poor and of course it's really quick and easy to back. And I'm using the Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Flourish collection today. And I just loved the look of the white cardstock cut file against that pretty pink. And I decided to just go ahead and layer it straight onto my paper. I'm not even going to back my cut file. And that's because if you look to the left, you'll see the ephemera in this collection is really quite large. And I thought with large ephemera covering a fair portion of this layout, oh, of the cut file, it would really steal away from my photo if I had busy pattern papers as well. So just choosing the one, however, you'll see I, I can't handle it. <laughs> it bothered me to leave it all um, plain and on one dimensional level. So because I don't want to distract with busy papers, I decide to cut it out and I'll mount it onto my white cardstock base just to give it that little bit more emphasis. So lots of foam tape on the back there. And there we go. Just putting a little bit more emphasis on the cut file, but without being too busy on the eye. I've got this fantastic wooden frame left over from this collection as well. And of course, with my photograph and centered in the middle of that cut file, it really draws attention to my photo. And of course, that pretty pink background with the powdery blue in my photo that just contrasts beautifully, but in a soft and delicate way, which of course, being a ballet photograph and all delicate and pretty and lots of florals coming, just perfect for my story. So yeah, what an easy cut file to use. And you can see already just how quickly this layout's coming together. So if you are perhaps a bit time poor like me, you know, you're a busy working mom and you have lots on, this is a great cut file for when you just want to make a beautiful layout to celebrate you know, the story or the photo and just enjoy. So lots of those larger ephemera and you can see what I mean about how large they really are. They're really quite enormous for flowers so I think that's why I had so many left over. And um, covering quite a large portion of that cut file so you can see yeah why I really didn't want to add more busy pattern papers to it but that's quite pretty so I'm just having a little bit of a last play with where I want things and um, going to glue it all down now. So some of them, are, that one's a puffy sticker, I believe. There's a couple puffy stickers there. Maybe some chipboard, um, but definitely lots of the ephemera that I hadn't used because, it, yeah, it really just was so large. So coming in now and by having the photo in the center framed and such a simple design, I think it just works. It just, you know, it's really elegant and really pretty. Um, yeah, and a few butterflies and a bird for good luck because, of course, you know, you can't have girly pages without all these pretty adornments. So on they go. And I think I'm having trouble deciding where I'm putting that butterfly for a minute there, so I'm just playing around with that one. Um, there we go. Just gluing them all into place. Very, very pretty. And you could see it like even left just the way it is now. This is a beautiful, clean, pretty page. So scrapbooking, while it's amazing when it's, you know, you have all these beautiful stitched elements or gorgeous paint tones and things, sometimes the clean, simple layouts are just as lovely. And this is why, because it's just all about that photo and that moment. So certainly very much to my taste and style. And that sentiment, which says so lovely, was actually from an ephemera card as well. There was some quite large cards with pictures. I think that one might have had a large rose picture or something with it. And I've just trimmed it off so that I had just that smaller sentiment or subtitle to go with my layout as well. I think that's the cutest puffy sticker ever. A little partridge bird. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Super cute. Just give him some more foam to hold him up. And try again. I don't think he was sticking particularly well to the um, wood veneer. And just getting those last little embellishments on. Don't 
They're very cute, the tiny little hearts, aren't they? And because they are the chipboard variety, they just have that little bit more dimension and pop on them, which I think is nice because we've got, you know, such clean, simple colours. You know, it's a gentle palette and there's not a lot of texture happening. So to have that little raised dimension within the cut file and then again in the butterfly wings and then repeated in those tiny hearts, it's just a delicate approach to creating interest on your page. So there we go. As I said, could be left like this and be quite lovely, but of course I, I couldn't bear to leave it too plain. And trying to use up my stash from this collection, and I had this gorgeous trim, it's like gold leaves, and I I don't know why really I bought it, because I probably only needed, you know, a small amount of it, but I've got yards of the stuff, so <laughs> trying to use that up on my page. I didn't have too much in the way of sentiments left in this collection, so I've actually pulled out some of the foam stickers from the crepe paper um, Willow Lane collection, which is also Maggie Holmes. Um, and just to add a few pops of black as well, some, some deeper contrast. And of course, those sentiments, which are important because they help to tell my story. So I'm playing around with them quite a bit. And I really want it in the bottom there. So this is also why I don't stick things down too aggressively until I'm really, really sure I'm finished. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I like that now. And a little supporting title, which of course is love as well. So you've got the love on the heart and then a pop of black puffy sticker as well. And I couldn't bear not to have some paint. It killed me in the, in the end. So coming in with one of my favourites, it's a shimmers paint called it's a vibes and it's called sweetheart and it's just really pretty so lots of delicate droplets of sweetheart around my heart and I've pulled out my stash of cocoa vanilla accessory stickers and I I'm a big fan of typewriter font journaling um, and I didn't I didn't have any ink left on my typewriter I need a new ribbon, so I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to use these stickers. They're fabulous anyway. They always have the best sayings and sentiments, so popping them in for my journaling. And, of course, the easy part is they're stickers, so I don't even have to muck around with any glue. And, yeah, just putting in my little bit of story there. And in my usual fashion, I'm going to change how I do it because... <laughs> Yeah. decision making can be tough <laughs> not really I think I just saw an extra sentiment before I stuck it down I went oh you know that works better so just sort of playing around till I'm happy and again this could be finished now but you know it still just didn't quite look right so you'll see to the left of the screen there I've got some shimmers this is an Inklings called Minor Minor 49er and it's a really pretty gold. There you go, you'll see that. Um, I have had people compare it to the Heidi Swap Shine Gold. Um, I'm not sure. I've just always used this one and it's gorgeous. So I've, I've never really looked elsewhere for paint when it comes to gold because the shimmer in this is just divine. And you can see it's really quite delicate. And because I've got that raised base, I'm not getting any paint anywhere where I shouldn't be. I'm just following along, pretty much along the foam tape that I've got around the edging there and just filling in with my soft brush, adding a few dots of gold as I go as well. I love the look of splatter, but because I tend to do it at the end, I usually paint it in instead. Um, and it's a little more controlled than I get the dots exactly where I want them. And just coming in with that last little bit of colour. And it just, I guess it kind of acts as a golden shadow. Um, again, just highlighting that beautiful cut file and the lovely colourings within the layout. And because my title is love and I just wanted to sort of bring that tiny bit more attention to it, I'm doing a very light, super light coat of the Minor Minor 49er colour over the top of the love word as well. Just carefully coming in and adding that gold touch. 
and it's not a big detail it's just a little subtle touch of color and mostly in this case just a lot of shimmer so that when the light hits the layer it just has that little bit of sparkle and wow because it's a girly page and we need sparkle we need shimmer beautiful and just coming in with some final last splatters of that gorgeous gold lots of pretty droplets here because you know we can't have too much gold there's no such thing in it goes very very pretty colorings and sort of brings that yellow tone in as well a little I think so yeah very pretty and there we have it um really simple quick and easy creating I think this took me 15 maybe 20 minutes um so just evidence that you know even if we are busy we still do have time to create very beautiful pretty layouts so yeah fantastic cut file I hope you give it a try lots of pretty close-ups coming for you now if you have any questions about my process today please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments section below and press that subscribe button if you enjoyed thanks so much happy arty days bye